Hello guys, so this is the Butterfly IQ Plus and today we're gonna do a complete review about this. So, I want to mention at the beginning, this is not sponsored. Butterfly Network hasn't gave me anything nor paid me any amount of money, so this will be a complete, honest and objective review. I want to give a shout out to Dr. Jorge Álvarez Troncoso for lending me this device to test it and we'll have a testimony of his experience at the end of the video. The Butterfly IQ Plus is a wired device with a really wide footprint, but this is Unique Pro. So the GE VSCAN Air that we uh, showed you last week had two probes, a linear probe and a curved probe, and this has only one. So it uses an electronic system to adapt the ultrasound beam to the linear setting, curved settings, or phased array settings. Apart from that, it's important to know that this device comes with two different wires. You can choose the type of wire at the moment when you buy the device and you can choose between Lightning for iPhones and then you can choose USB-C for iPad Pros or uh, Android devices. And now let's start with the technical specs extracted from their website. About size, it fits perfectly in the pocket. The 1.5 meters wire is more than enough. Here I would like to highlight the weight, and although it may seem a little bit high, it implies more battery capacity, and thus, scan time. Regarding imaging modes, it has a lot of them, with the usual B mode and color Doppler that all handheld ultrasounds have, but with the extra M mode, power Doppler, and pulse wave Doppler, only in the USA so far, but planning to expand worldwide. It has some amazing software tools to calculate the left ventricular ejection fraction, bladder volume, obstetric calculations and more. And another tool worth mentioning is the needle beast mode to display longitudinal and transverse axis at the same time to allow simultaneous in-plane and out-of-plane approaches. Finally, you have a lot of presets, which are abdominal, abdominal dip, aorta and gallbladder, bladder, cardiac, cardiac dip, fast, lung, musculoskeletal, nerve, ob ophthalmic, pediatric abdomen, pediatric lung, small organ, musculoskeletal soft tissue, vascular axis, vascular carotid, and vascular deep vein. And let me tell you that all these cool modes that I've talked about are only available if you purchase the Pro subscription, which is an annual $420 subscription. And now let's see how to set it up and start scanning. It is a pretty fast process, so we just plug it in, click on the app, and after a few seconds, we're ready to scan. So here we can just choose the preset. So let's start with the images. I have to mention that these are taken on a healthy male. And you can see on the left a personal long axis and on the right a personal short axis that goes from the apex to the base of the heart. Now you're seeing a subcostal suboptimal view and you can see a V mode on the left and a color Doppler on the right. They're pretty good and maybe it's because of the good echocardiographical window but to be a cardiac butterfly AQ image it's really good. Now here you're seeing an M mode just to show that butterfly AQ has M mode and here you're seeing a needle bead screenshot. Here you're seeing the abdominal liver and great vessels just for you to see the, how the liver is displayed and the liver kidney interface is shown and you can see that the color doppler is great here you're seeing the liver kidney interface the Morrison's pouch on the left on B mode and on the right with power doppler power doppler can also be used to detect arthritis or small blood flows Here you're seeing kidney images on the left or on B mode and on the right with color Doppler. And again, it surprised me. I wasn't expecting to obtain such great images. And now you'll see the bladder on the left, the images that the butterfly IQ uses to do this 3D reconstruction of the bladder on the right. And now you're seeing the carotid artery. And on the left, you can see a screenshot of B mode on, on the right, you can see a color Doppler. Here you can see on the left the M mode 
on the carotid artery and on the right the pulse wave Doppler on the same artery and remember that this is only available in the United States so far. Here you can see a transverse carotid artery and you can see how the compression and the compression of the jugular veins is shown on the color Doppler and on the right you have a measurement. Here you're seeing musculoskeletal images on the left and a musculoskeletal clip on the right. And now you can see a wrist clip on the left showing the flexors and median nerve. And on the right you can see a color doppler clip trying to find the radial artery and you can see it's on the top. And here you'll watch a live demo of the needle vis mode. You can see how it displays the longitudinal and transverse axis of my wrist at the same time allowing to do in-plane and out-of-plane approaches whenever you want to get a vascular axis <laughs> and it's hard to optimize the image when you're scanning to yourself so here you can see how rotating the butterfly IQ plus swaps the images between the longitudinal and transverse axis and remember you have to purchase the pro subscription in order to have this mode so now let's talk about pricing and here you can see how you can have a butterfly IQ for $1,999 plus a $420 per year in the case of the United States and €1,899 plus a €400 per year in the case of Europe or if you prefer you can purchase a lifelong subscription for $2,999 in the case of the United States or €2,849 in the case of Europe all prices are without taxes, so your real price may be different. And now, let me tell you that recently, Battlefly Networks company went public under the ticker BFLY on the New York Stock Exchange, so I'll leave in the description a link to their investors page in case anyone wants to buy some stock. Good morning, everyone. I'm really glad to be here with Alex and Yale for this review. I think the arrival of more handheld ultrasound devices will help us improve in our attention to our patients. I am going to briefly tell you about my experience with the Butterfly IQ Plus ultrasound. Since mid-late November, I have been able to use it daily in clinical practice. I use it for everything, cardiac lung, abdominal, great vessels, bladder, vascular, musculoskeletal, and of course, for echo-guided processes like thoracosynthesis or paracentesis. It is practically immediate from the moment you connect it to your mobile or tablet and start performing the ultrasound. There are both lightning and USB-C connectors that help you connect it to any uh, iOS or Android device. We are very excited to have new small devices with great image quality and affordability. Point of Care Ultrasound, POCUS, has come to change our daily clinical practice and to allow us to make faster and more reliable decisions in first-level centers and also in centers with fewer resources. Personally, POCUS has me a lot both on the bedside clinical examination, on medical shifts and in outpatient clinics, routinely adding ultrasound examinations by pocket-sized ultrasound devices has proved to improve in patient diagnostics in medical departments. I think now it's the time for adding the fifth pillar to bedside clinical examination. So that's it, I hope you guys enjoyed it. You can follow me here, you can see the nickname, it's Masters of Ultrasound in Instagram. You can also follow Jorge Alvarez Troncoso in his socials and here you will see his nickname. And as always, drop below in the comments your suggestions, your experience, your thoughts. If you use this device, it's really useful that you explain here your experience so people can compare and can see the experience from different perspectives. Subscribe to stay tuned and don't miss any new video. Bye!